He's uh, Shane Battier, world champion, Miami Heat forward. He joins us on the show. Shane, how are you? Daniel, good morning. I'm doing great. How much sleep? You know, my body hates me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to have some minor organ failure. Um, I need some roughage. I need some roughage. <laughs> that, that's what the, uh, the order of the day is, a nice bowl of lettuce or some broccoli. But, you know, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Take me through the end of – so the, the game ends, and then, then what happens? <laughs> uh, it, it's a blur. It's a blur. Um, it, you know, uh, the confetti rained down, and you see LeBron with the trophy, and all of a sudden, you, next thing you know, your eyes are stinging with, with, with Dom Perignon, which was champagne in it. And, uh, and that was just the, the beginning of uh, the night. Um, it ended with my wife and I. Eating uh, moon moons over my my hammy in Miami, ironically, at about uh, eight o'clock in the morning, and it was just a, it was a great night. Wait, you were at Denny's? Yes, yeah, under yeah, that that's unofficial uh, <laughs> post championship celebration. Of course, spot. of course, nothing says love like Denny's at uh, yeah. eight, eight in the morning after having it not was, slept. Right? Uh, it was yeah, it was a fantastic night. I mean, it just it really was. It really was. It doesn't really hit you. To, for, a few days later, but uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was quite the party. Do you know how many Duke players have won championships? Um, in the Coach K era, too. I was, I was constantly reminded of that fact uh, every step of, of the way in the playoffs. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to, uh, to increase that number uh, by 50%. Um, you know, much like a, a Blue Devil, we're, we're growing exponentially. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Do you hear from Carolina, guys? Because Carolina has... I think thirty championship rings. Yeah, not really, not really. You know, the, the rivalry is deep, but there's, 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 there's a respect there, honestly, and there, there is. You, you hear more from the the, the Terrapin fans and the you know, the, the other uh, non-Duke fans out there, but the, the Carolina rivalry, there, there's some respect there. He's Shane Battier, Miami Heat forward, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. More disliked, do you think, nationally, Duke or Miami Heat? Uh, Duke by far. When, you know, when, I, when I was a young lad. Back in 2001, I looked around and I was captain of Duke, ranked number one in the country. I didn't see one number 31 Battier jersey in the crowd, not one. Uh, at least when we go to Oklahoma and the Lake, the Lake Show and Portland, you, you see a lot of D Wade and LeBron jerseys. So that, that that tells me we have a lot more fans in Miami than that we did at Duke. But what was different about this mindset with this team this year as opposed to what they went through last year, losing to Dallas? Pain. Pain, you know. Anytime you, a team wins a championship, uh, there, there's someone in the locker room talking about uh, having to go through adversity, having to go through pain uh, to to really realize what it's about. And this this team went through a lot last year, and they, they really did. not I was I was on a different team, and but when I joined the team, you could you could see the hurt in their eyes and uh, just the focus, the focus. And uh, people asked me what's what was different about LeBron, and I think that was that was it. Just going through the experience of last year. Uh, getting his his face rubbed in in, in horse manure and uh, just developing an, an edge from that was was the difference. I think it's great that you point this out. Um, I mentioned that it's it's not that the Heat wanted it more. I think that the Heat understood what it meant and it meant more to them because of what they went through. Whereas Kevin Durant's twenty three, if he's twenty seven and doesn't have a championship. He's going to understand exactly what LeBron was feeling. Now, to a little lesser degree because of popularity and what he did with the decision and some of those other things. But I, 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 I realize that as I'm watching that and certainly LeBron James understood it. He understood how much this hurt, how much that he's listened to all of this. But privately, does he give you those feelings as a team or individually? Um, he doesn't really speak about it, but he, we know. We know we're not we're not idiots. Uh, we know the, the scrutiny of of what LeBron goes through and, and what the Miami Heat go through is, is it's pretty intense. You know, in, in, in the age of Twitter, he's you know he's he's arguably the, the most famous athlete, maybe the most famous person of the Twitter the Twitter age. And every every time he misses a jump shot, people are critiquing him. Uh, every time he loses a game and doesn't make the right decision or makes a bad pass, he's getting criticized. And so we, we, we understand, and LeBron is human. And that's, that's the thing I learned about him the most, that he's, he's probably a lot more human than uh, most people think. <laughs> 
And uh, but that's what makes him good. That's what makes him. Well, good. I said yeah. he was underrated. I, I, you know, I tell people that all the time. You know, put this other stuff aside. You know, you dislike him for whatever reason. He's underrated. Well, under under the scrutiny that he faces, under the pressure that he faces for him to perform that way, it's pretty pretty dang good. And I, you know, I, I don't know how other superstars in the NBA and or in other eras and other sports would react to the same pressure. Would you want to be LeBron James? Um, uh, you know, for a day. Not, not <laughs> Wait, what would you do with that day? Oh, I'd, I'd just dunk. I'd dunk. <laughs> and I, w- I would lift weights, and I'd run fast. I'd challenge, you know, a horse to a race, and I would I would just do all the things that, uh, you know, we all, we all dream about. Well, when's the you last know? time you dunked? Oh, I, g- I could still dunk. Damn, in, a game, dunk in a game, you know? though. I know you can it's, still. I mean, you're 6'8". It's, it's, been, it's been three years. It's been three. Actually, I dunked in an exhibition game in China. Wow. And so, They're still talking about that one. I'm actually big in China. I'm a lot bigger in China than in America. And so if I had to dunk one place, it's in front of my two billion friends over there. Will you dunk before your career is over? One more time. I, I will. I will. I, I'm, I'm willing to put myself out there today. Dan Patrick Show, wow. June 26th, whatever it is. I will dunk before it's all said and done. All right. I was going to uh, trademark this phrase uh, for you guys to win again next year. I would just call it reheat. <laughs> Miami plans on reheating, or just add, you know, just reheat. What do you think? That's, that's terribly, that's terribly, wonderfully corny. Yeah, but I like it. Well, uh, you know I, what's going to happen. That. You know, Pat Riley will trademark it and then make millions. Oh, of no dollars. question. Yeah, you know how he no is. Question. Yeah. Oh, and he's he's got it. He's probably already got it on lockdown. How surprising was it though that I'm not going to say you guys made it look easy, but it was probably easier than you thought it was going to be. No, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't by any stretch. Uh, someone read us a fact yesterday. We're, we're the first team in NBA history to win an NBA title trailing in three out of the four series. Uh, we were down 2-1 to Indiana, down 3-2 to Boston, down 1-0 to, to Oklahoma. Okay, but at what and, point, you got to be honest with me here, in what series did you actually have doubts that you'd win the champ? You'd, you'd advance or win the championship? Oh, you, you have doubts every step of the way. And, but a you know, serious and, doubts, though, Shane. Like, oh, Indiana, it's 2-1. They it, do. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 ha- you have them, um, but you overcome them. You know, you, you, you have doubts. And we're down 2-1. We had to play a game for Indi- in Indiana. We're playing a team way bigger than us. Chris Bosh had just gotten hurt. Uh, they're starting a 215-pound power forward and Battier. Can't jump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> things are not looking rosy. Things are not looking rosy. But you just you figure it out. And in Boston, we lose game five in Miami. We have to go to Boston, play them down 3-2 in Boston. All the, all the demons and leprechauns, things didn't look good. LeBron throws up a 40 ball, and everything's back, back to square. And in Oklahoma, they kick our butt game one. Everyone says we're too old. Oklahoma's too quick. We're too athletic. We're too young, too hungry. Uh, <laughs> you, you have doubts. You have doubts, but you don't let those doubts rule you. You, you overcome them, and uh, you use that fear, and you, you, you play your tail off, and then that's, how, that's how you get it done. Better chance of winning the title next year, Miami or Duke? Um, I don't know Duke's roster as well. I, you know, I like, I like our chances <laughs> to, to be up there. I would hope you know? so. I mean, I mean we, got, we, we, got, we got some bad mamma jammas on our team, man. And if, if, if you stay healthy... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll, we we have a shot, but it's after winning it, it's 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 so incredibly difficult to win, and uh, so so many things have to go your way. And but as long as you stay healthy, and you stay hungry, uh, we'll be in the conversation. The uh, foundation is Take Charge. It's an initiative, uh, July twentieth through the twenty second in Lake Tahoe. Now, I thought it was going to be take a flop, but it's Take Charge Foundation. Um, it's for the kids, Dan. It's for the I know kids. it's always for the kids. Is it Take a Charge Foundation, or is it just Take Charge? Well, my foundation is called Take Charge, the Take Charge Foundation. Obviously, it's a pun, plan words. Um, and uh, we are looking for young people who want to take charge of their futures through college education. And we've been sending uh, kids to school now for over, over four years and have some fantastic kids. So this is a initiative to raise some money, raise some great scholarship money to send some uh, ambitious youth to, uh, to college and, and allow them to reach their goals. And if you go on uh, my website, 
TakeChargeFoundation.com. You can sign up for the Take Charge Save Par initiative. Um, I, I play in the American Century Championship in Lake Tahoe every year. You, you'll know it as the tournament where Barkley is terrible and George <laughs> and Romo. And, you know, I'm actually one of the few guys that beat Barkley, all right? Not by much, but I do beat him. Wow. Um, and so par for me on this course, it's a pretty tough course, it's, it's a pretty big deal. So if you go to the website, you can donate – uh, for every par that I achieve during uh, the weekend, uh, July 20th through the 22nd, and uh, get a good laugh along the way and uh, help some fantastic kids. The uh, Have you ever taken a charge from your wife? <laughs> like if she ran into, bumped into you, have you ever like acted like you know you were taking a charge? Have you, you know, ever flopped? It, if she was out of control, I'd take the charge. <laughs> she is. Give me that website. And I, only, I, only, I only take charges when I know the offensive player is out of control. And sometimes my wife's out of control. So, yes, I, I would. Uh, give me that website again. TakeChargeFoundation.com. Hey, it's great to visit with you. Congrats on the championship, Shane. Thank you, Daniel. Hi, I buddy. appreciate it. All right. Shane Battier, Miami Heat forward. That's good stuff. Hey, fun guy.